because of this one big lie related to menopause, having all of these different symptoms come from different sources when they really come from one main root cause that we're going to get into. So I'm going to take you through step by step of what happens with menopause and I have a really good solution. So it is absolutely true that roughly around 52 is when you have menopause. Now, some women are earlier, some women are later, but the average is age 52 where the ovaries go in retirement and they stop releasing eggs. And then from that, you have a dip in several hormones, not just estrogen. I mean, it can go from 400 down to 20. So you get this severe drop in estrogen. I want to give you some additional things on this that you probably haven't heard. It is true that estrogen drops, testosterone drops, but also progesterone sometimes tanks to almost zero. But a lot of people don't talk about that. We will be talking about that but I'm primarily going to be focusing on this estrogen. When the estrogen drops, it signals the thermostat in your brain. There is a thermostat and it's part of this hypothalamus, which is like the master gland that controls everything else. It's like this microcomputer. It has many different little sections that control huge things in the body. Part of the area that's in the hypothalamus that's related to menopause is literally a thermostat. That's right. And so it's constantly getting feedback from your core temperature, which should be 98.6. And if it's going too high or too low, it makes adjustments. It might heat up, it might create a fever, it might create a hot flash or a night sweat, or it could be on the other side, shivering to try to generate more heat. So you have this uh, thermostat going on. And what's really interesting about the thermostat is Typically in a thermostat you have in your house, let's say it's set at 72, there's a certain amount of fluctuation that can go up or down before it gets triggered. Picture it like a zone from this point to this point. After menopause, when the estrogen drops, that zone shortens significantly, which means that if you just have slight variations, tiny variations in that temperature, then it gets triggered and then you have this cascade effect of a hot flash and other symptoms. And there's several things that can trigger it. Temperature, blood sugar, stress. So there's a lot of different triggers that can trip this uh, thermostat. It does several other things too.